So here's the plan. We're gonna change this entire under the stair area into the best and most awesomest kids space ever. But that's gonna require a lot of work. First things first, let's explore, come on. Okay, so now, in order to get to the other side, we're gonna jump through like this, okay. One, two, three, shoot. Oh, ah, okay. Much easier to do it like that. Oh, wow, look at how roomy this is. Oh, tippy toe, I can't even touch. Oh, look at that. There's not a whole lot of headroom on this side. We'll have a space that's about nine feet by three feet, three and a half inches. And it would be three feet, one inch high. And then starting right at this stud, running the span of the room gives us seven feet. And the whole area would get to be about seven feet, 10 inches. Yeah, bring the broom. We need it for sure. But it's really dark in here. So I think, I think the first thing we need is the light. Bring the light. <laughs> That'll work. That will work. It's very, very dirty. A lot of work. There's gonna be some framing we have to do, some electrical work, sheetrock, electrical, covering stuff, boxing things in. Man, it's gonna be a huge project, but it all starts with cleaning, so let's do that right now. Now, even though there's not a whole lot of headroom in this little place for someone like me, this will be the perfect little lay down spot for a little tyke like Benjamin. So I think I'm gonna flip this box so that there's two outlets here, and then we'll run some uh, LED string lights all along the corners to illuminate in here. I'm trying to keep this headspace though. Take the sheetrock all the way down into that corner. Why not? This is gonna be awesome. You know, another thing I just noticed, the framing's not completely finished. They still have to put down, or I guess they never put down the treated boards along, I'd say, man, at least half of this wall. That'll be easy, we'll put those down, and then we can frame out the rest of this wall. So we decided where the door is gonna be. Right here. It all starts with a cut. Sure would be nice to have a truck. So nice. Is Buddy in there somewhere?
finishes up all of the rest of the treated boards that they never did to begin with. So now we can do the framing. framing portion of the project. We got the long side wall finished, we got the underneath the stairs, the little portion in the back there finished, and of course we got this back wall now fully framed out. And this box, this box to hide the air duct, man, it's gonna be a cool little seat, little shelf. I'm excited to get onto the drywall next. Let's go do it. So I did the calculations and we need about 10 sheets 
of the sheetrock and uh, we need about 7.3 but 10 sheets will help us account for any loss or uh, any mistakes that we might make. So let's get these unloaded and start the work. Now, we'll have something, when the drywall lays flush, we'll have something to, to screw into. <laughs> So before we get too far into the drywall, I wanted to explain two of the major issues that we had, both in the plumbing and in the electrical. So for the plumbing, you may remember we had this long tube that was running down the span of the room, all the way across the stairs and then out into the garage, but it was literally right in the middle of the room. So what we did is we had to cut it three times, next to the garage wall, next to the opposite wall, and then where it ends going into the utility room next door. So once we cut those three, we measured out the right length of tube, put on the L caps and the extender caps to make sure that everything was all good. We used the right sealant compound, which I was very excited to learn about, which I've never done before. So one of the coolest parts about this fix is that we went through the frames to keep the tube outside of the interior space, and then we went under the stairs, which was a perfect solution to the problem that we had. But it did mean that we had to move the hose spigot in the garage over by about 10 inches or so. That was no big deal. We'll patch that wall up when we get a chance at the end of the project. That was the plumbing. Done. Move on to the next, the electrical. Now with electrical, we'd already done some work, but we wanted to have at least four outlets here in this space. Obviously, we're going to be lighting the interior, and so we'll, we'll light that with one of the plugs, and then we can plug in alarm clocks or uh, lamps or heaters or anything that the kids want to use, maybe even like a TV one day, we'll see. So instead of flipping the outlet from the outside room here to the interior, we spliced off a whole additional outlet. So now we have four total on the interior of this room, which I'm really excited about. That's pretty easy. You put the ground wire first connected to the green, tighten that up. Then you put the white wire on the same side as the green, tighten that up, then the black wire easily. That's the one with the power. That one goes to the other side. Put it all in, give it a little bit extra space and room just in case we have to do something in the future. Bam, put in a new one, all good to go. So now the electrical is done, the plumbing is done, and we are able to finish out the under the stairs framing. Man, so now we're ready to really jump in on the drywall and get this whole place sealed in. And I can't wait. Come on, let's do it.
Pro tip, mark the studs before you put it up. <laughs> Thank you.
Today, we're going to do a dirty project. So we gotta have nice clothes. Gotta be regular old crappy clothes. Let's go do some salmon.
drywall really actually is one of those things that the professionals do it very, very well. And when you're not a professional, it can be quite glaringly obvious uh, when you didn't sand well enough or if there's still tape showing through or if you're dropping paint on a first layer and then painting over it for a second layer. There's lots of ways to really show that you're just an amateur doing this stuff. But hey, it's a fun project and you know, we're making great progress on what we're doing so far. So it's no big deal if we have a few things that don't look perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect. You gotta do two coats of paint because you might not see them at first but in all the little textures and divots of the wall material itself it's very easy for there still to be little white speckles all throughout the wall so the second coat is absolutely necessary it takes some time but hey gotta do it try to do it as right as you can first time
Pro tip number two, don't do this work in your good clothes. <laughs> you will regret it. <laughs> Funny that these are my good clothes, that's when you know it's been a long quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's do this. Now we just get all this up. Amazing.
primer done. Clearly, there is a lot of work in covering up that would need to be done from water lines, sprinklers, air ducts, security wires, plugs, and electrical. So this would be a huge project, but man, I have been looking for something fun like this, and I didn't even know it was right in my own home. This is going to be awesome. No danger? Oh, look at that. Well, the project is basically done. Got the cool lights, got everything painted, and now it's just time to enjoy.